and hello, good morning, and welcome to another day, another vlog, another very strange, strange video. Right, that one gets countryside, that way goes. I might go the long way. But the long way means going on the hill. And it's gonna be blowy on the hill as well. Oh, fuck it hell. Sorry guys, I'm uh, just trying to figure out what way to get to Lumi's today because uh, I wanna to get to Lumi's. And it's a bit more blowy than I was ex I expecting it to be. But that would be alright, they said uh, sunny spells. Blah de blah, fucking blah, didn't mention the fucking wind though, did they? Fucking, I'm wondering if this is the tail end of Doris. Doris, fuck off! Doris! Doris, go fuck yourself! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off, Doris! Fuck off! Sorry. Moment of insanity. As we do. But no, I was expecting a nice little pleasurable ride up to Lumi's. But instead, I've, uh, I've already made my mind up actually without even realising it. Where up, what direction I am going in. One direction. Doink. So, yeah, we're off to Lumi's as uh, I keep rabbiting on about. I'm hoping to go and see a couple of people up there actually while I'm there. Not only am I going to Lumi's because Panda and Sweb are going to be there. But Mr. Smo is uh, also on about he's going up. Yeah, Smo's apparently coming up, going up to Lumi's as well, which will be all good. It'll be nice to see Mr. Smo. I ain't seen him for ages. Well, I have seen him for ages because obviously he's got his Twitch, but not in the flesh. Sounds completely fucking wrong, that. I've got the other camera on as well. Hopefully that's. Uh, Picking up some awesome exhaust noise because of uh, what I've done to it. A bit of road around it as I'm supposed to. But yeah, I've kind of decided what route I'm actually going up to Lumi's on. I've, uh, I was going to go the other way because I don't know. And then I thought, no, actually, because that means going up over the fucking. Right now, this is where. Oh, fucking side swipes here last time. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, sorry, I'm uh, heading out of chatting to you guys and not chatting to you guys. <laughs> but no, we're gonna go, this is my normal route to work, isn't it? I know, you're saying no difference today. I don't see any difference. Hang on, where am I going? I think I'm going to work, don't I? Yeah, fucking right in the fucking sun. Not today, I'm not going that way today. I'm going to get me a bacon roll and a cup of coffee. I'm getting myself a cup of coffee and a bacon roll. Possibly, possibly a bacon roll anyway. Ooh, that fucking wind is bad. So, right, let's have a chat. Let's have a serious chat now, shall we? So, serious, serious chat. I'm going to have a serious chat with you guys. I'm going to actually have a chat about what sort of music I'm into. I know I've sort of roughly covered this before, but I'm going to go recap because a lot of people are interested, or seem to be quite interested, in what sort of music I am into. Oh shit, 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 shit. My bad. So yeah, the sort of music that I'm actually into, um, obviously a lot of you know that I'm into more like rock and metal and uh, classical, a bit strange one that is, classical music. Fuck it out there, brave. Seriously brave, sorry I've got a cold as well so I've been sniffing rather a lot. So yeah, I'm into my... into my you know classic rock as in serious classic rock and uh, bands like Metallica Megadeth etc those type of bands 
bit of anthrax in there, bit of napalm death. Guns and roses, poison. So we've established that. You know, I like my classic, my classic rock type stuff. Um, I'm also into. Right, hang on. I'll, I'll recap from the beginning. Basically, I was born. I was born and I grew up listening to, you know, Deep Purple, Thin Lizzy, uh, T-Rex, Quiet Riot. That's what my dad was heavily, heavily, heavily into. I've just got a side hit, a hit in the fucking side. Which is just fucking, it's gonna get windy. This is a bad idea going this way. We shall, we shall see later on. Country roads and bad wind. <laughs> Sounds like me after breakfast. Country roads and bad wind. I sort of know this road anyway. Hang on, I'm going off topic again. I'm forever going off fucking topic. Yes, as I was saying about um, me being brought up with... I was brought up with classic rock and... Mum was into her Doctor Hook, and that sort of. But then again, that sort of was uh, that sort of music was sort of like all in type fashion. Plus, you got obviously mum and dad were into their 60s music, the Beatles, and your Elvis, and stuff like that. Which I'm not a big fan of. I'm not into my Elvis Presleys. Or my Cliff Richards, or my Cilla Blacks, or etc. I respect for what they do. I have a lot of respect because without what they did, music wouldn't be as it is today. And such is life. But yeah, that's that's basically what Mum and Dad brought me up with. Is that sort of style of music, and that's that's sort of going to show my age now. <laughs> But yeah, I, I then got into, obviously, I, oh, fucking hell, sun's out, that wind just needs to drop off. I think the last time I did this road, actually, going sort of changing topic, and uh, as I always do, I always change topic. I think the last time I actually came down here was, it was dark, if I remember rightly. As long as it stays dry, Days were lovely. It'd be quite nice. It is a bit cold, I admit. No, that make any difference. Still getting hit in the fucking face. What time did I say I'd be there 11? Oh, I've got 15 minutes. Oops, I'm not going to make that. Because it's at least 15 minutes to get to the main road that joins up with. Bloomies, which is basically this one, you follow this one all the way down. Oh god, here we go. And that, I believe, is rain. Shit. We've got rain, guys. Little spitty spotties. Which wasn't fucking forecast. Ah, yes, uh, um, loads of different things. Sorry, I do keep going off topic. Shit, fucking Land Rover. Fucking, we just pushed me into Lam fucking Land Rover. Here we go, let's have some fun, guys. Let's have some fun. Right, but at least we're now on the uh, main road. I've got to head for Corhampton. That's where we're going. We're heading to Corhampton. I wasn't expecting it to fucking rain, though. The road to Loomis. During the dry, this road is absolutely fucking lovely. So, right, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me just recap. Uh, Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Right, music that I'm into, sorry, I... My mind is all over the fucking place, depending on what's going on around me. Um, yeah, basically I got brought up with 60 stuff. 
and um, it's what 60s, 70s stuff I got brought up with and then 80s I sort of didn't really have a genre of music that I listened to when I was a child and um, yeah basically I oh, yeah so basically um, yeah I didn't really have a genre of music until I was about 13 ish and then when I was about 13 I started getting into pop music and yeah it was literally pure fucking god looking back on it now it's like uh, really I really was into that stuff <coughs> and then I got into like dance music and so yeah basically I was into like dance music at the late part of say probably when I was about 14 15 I got into dance and trance and you know all the dancey stuff fucking raves and stuff I got heavily into that that sort of stuff like you know like your prodigies and your fucking the pure pure dance trance rave type culture and then all of a sudden I don't know why how or when I probably thought well fuck this shit I've had enough of this and for some unknown reason I literally found metal. It might have been a friend actually. Um, I don't know how I found metal, but I found it. And when I found it, I, I, well, when I found it, that's the word, I found it in a big, big way. And the uh, first band that I ever, ever got into metal band wise was a band called Metallica, which I've mentioned. And then obviously, I then went through their back catalogue, had a look at their back catalogue, went all the way back to the early 80s, and then I started discovering this, this discovering, yeah right, I started to discover, even, other metal bands in that era, i.e. your name Palm Deaths, your Anthrax, your, Me your Megadeths, and so on and so on and so on. And then that was that was basically the I think I was about 16 to 19 or something when I started discovering all of those bands. And then obviously the it went through the metal scene was went blew up with very really huge Guns N' Roses and I can't slow down. And then I got into basically when the era when Nirvana and people like that appeared. The metal scene sort of died off a little bit. Grunge. You then had the grunge era. And I sort of sloped back to me. My, um, to, you know, your dance sort of phase, which I regretted doing. And we are at Lumi's. Right, I'll continue this on the way home, people. I will. Oh, we'll see you in a bit. Mm, actually, I'm going to park it there. And I will see you guys in a bit.